It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Northern Monk over the years have made some really quite funky beers, some funny beers, some beers that say, hey, we love brewing, we love our beer, we take our beer seriously, but we don't take ourselves overly seriously. And I think that's a really important thing to have when you're a brewer. We've had Aunt Bessie's Northern Monk Yorkshire Pudding, Roast Beef and Yorkshire Pudding Beer. We've had Aunt Bessie's and Northern Monk Roly Poly <laughs> Beer, a dessert beer, which is quite nice actually. Uh, the first version, not the second version. Uh, the second version wasn't very good. Uh, and then we had, of course, the Cheese and Onion Lager, the Northern Monk Cheese and Onion Lager. Uh, with Seabrooks, which is very funny. And it looks like Northern Monk have produced a beer for Sainsbury's that could be equally as funny and equally as kind of charming, if you like. This is called um, Rocket Lolly IPA. We've all had a Rocket Lolly as kids. We've all had them. You might have had one as an adult. Um, it, it's got that really nice kind of fun look to it, doesn't it? Uh, it with, it's a hot powered takeoff to give you a fruity cosmic blast. Strawberry, orange and pineapple flavours. 4.7% ABV. I quite like that. I quite like the branding. I can imagine, because uh, I've, I've been doing it the whole imagining lately oh let's move um, our previous beer out the way shall we let's move that out the way uh that is the hot cross bun ale from sainsbury's uh, made by badger ales very good very good um but we're not here to talk about that today we're, we're here to talk about the next beer um so the beer yeah let, let's have a quick look at the price the price of this beer i got the receipt here is rocket lolly Three pounds. Three pounds for a 440 milliliter can. Let's roll my sleeves up. Let's grab this can. Let's get it out into a glass and let's see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. This has the potential to be a raging success, didn't it? Um, I think what these companies do, apart from like, you know, not taking themselves overly seriously, which I think is a really good trait, is we live in a world of social media. We live in a world of, hey, look at this, and you show your friends something. And, and it's a really good way for these companies to market their products to other people. I imagine when they brewed the Aunt Bessie's roast beef and Yorkshire pudding beer, that they really wanted to get people to share it with their, their friends on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. And then of course, people go and buy the beer. It's a great way to get Northern Monk's name out there. And um, I imagine that they've gone down that same kind of road with this beer. We got a one to two finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Hazy straw colored beer. I did mention, didn't I, that it was 4.7% ABV. If I haven't, I'm doing it now. Let's get the aroma. It smells like a pretty decent pale ale. Hoppy, citrusy. You definitely get the strawberry. The strawberry, dare I say it, smells a little bit synthetic. It's almost as if they've used that jam roly poly. Like that, I mean, that was probably raspberry, wasn't it? But a very similar flavor in strawberry. Like a strawberry flavor instead of the raspberry for the jam roly poly. It's probably a very similar recipe. So slightly synthetic then, but let's get in. Cheers, everybody.
immediately I'm thinking along the lines of a novelty brew dog beer, a novelty tiny rebel beer. When I taste this, it's got a nice wafer biscuit flavour right at the beginning, which I really liked. And I was about to go, oh yeah, oh this is lovely. And then it was kind of strange strawberry flavours and strange mixed fruit flavours. I can imagine there's an awful lot of people out there that will like this on a freezing, put this in the fridge, get it freezing cold on a hot summer's day. I nearly got the wrong way around then. I nearly said a freezing cold day. On a hot sunny day, a freezing cold glass of this hot rocket lollipop drink would probably quench the thirst of Say me when I was in my early 20s. If I had this in my early 20s, I'd probably have drank gallons of it. So there is a market for it, of course, there's a market for it. Maybe not for me, maybe not for me, but I can see the market, I can see the opportunity for brewing this beer and making a success of this beer. It's got a really lovely wafer biscuit malt like flavour to begin with. Then it's all strawberry flavours and orange flavours and pineapple flavours, like synthetic kind of. I'm not being too harsh, am I? I'm in a bit of a, I'm in a bit of a relaxed mood with um, this beer, and, and that's because again it goes back to. Northern Mugs make some terrific beer. They make some really terrific beer if you want to buy it from their website. Or they make some really decent beer in the supermarket. That tank petrol that's available in Tesco for £4 a can is fantastic beer. But this is one of those cheese and onion crisp lagers and the Aunt Bessie's jam roly poly or the Aunt Bessie's roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. This is just... This is just a beer that's been put out there to get people to share the beer on Instagram and, and why not if you're young and you kind of you're on social media and you and you like this beer then why not share it with your friends it's not for me it's not for me in fact I probably won't finish it I probably won't be finishing this in all honesty. It's um it's too it's too synthetic for me. It's too kind of like a flavoured one of those flavoured beers, flavoured with strawberry, flavoured with orange, flavoured with pineapple. And um, they've called it hop rocket. Well, you know, how much hops is in this beer is very debatable. And there's not really that much. Um, right, the ingredients are <coughs> water, malted barley, wheat, pineapple puree, orange juice concentrate, hops and strawberry aroma. And there's some kind of wheat notes in there as well. So it's, yeah, not for me, orange juice concentrate pineapple puree strawberry aroma and it's 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 a bit too um synthetic for me but i can understand people who enjoy it i can understand it and um, for me i much prefer to drink a really clean heller's lager these days or a nice vice beer or a boring best bitter I mean, I've gone to drinking just pure beer, pure, generally pure German beer. Um, and I think I've gone in that direction because of beers like this. 
and it, it's kind of sent me down that direction of if I just want to drink hops, malt, yeast and water from the German purity law. Um, my rating for this beer is probably a 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.